this is uh, Bhavik from Cisco TAC. So basically in this slide, we are going to talk about how to configure different routing protocols in AAC. So now in this slide, we are going to focus how to configure BGP on an AAC. Okay, so this slide basically would focus how to configure BGP on an AAC. Now the BGP was supported from 9.2.1 version on AAC. Now here, the way to start is similar to how we do in router. So it's router BGP and it's now not the process ID. It's the autonomous system number. So it is router BGP 100. Once you go under that, the different options we get is are listed here. So basically the different options are best path, log neighbor changes. So even, even the default value which gets uh, configured, even if we do not set it, is a log neighbor changes. So if you just do router BGP 100 and do not configure anything, the log neighbor changes would always be configured. Now, once you go under router BGP 100, as you could see that there is an option of address family IPv4 unicast. All the neighborship information would be defined under address family IPv4 unicast. So if we are defining an IPv4 neighborship, it would be IPv4. If we are defining IPv6, it would be IPv6 address family IPv6 unicast. Now here you could see that there is a keyword for BGP. There is a keyword neighbor. There is a parameter network. So these are the important parameters which are helpful in defining a BGP neighborship between two routers or two AC. Now here we look into the configuration which is required on an AC. So the first one talks about AC1, the second talks about AC2. As we remember in the topology diagram which I shared before, it was AC1, AC2, AC3 and router R1 from where I am redistributing the routes. Now here on AC1, you could see that I am defining the autonomous system number as 2000. On the other AC, I am defining the autonomous system number as 2001. As I have said that, even if you configure the log neighbor changes or not, it would be a default value which would be configured on its own. Now I have defined, see everything would come under BGP. So remember that if I have to define certain, these are nothing but the global values which gets defined under an autonomous system. So I, I have defined the best path as router ID, compare router ID, why I have done this? Because say consider if our routes are coming from the same autonomous system number. So how do I determine that to which router needs to be installed in the routing table? In that case, this feature is beneficial. I'm changing the default local preference value from 100 to 200. I'm defining the maximum AS limit which could be uh, accepted for the route to be installed in the routing table. So here the maximum AS limit is 10. What do we mean by this is, say consider uh, if a, I have a BGP neighborship between say ASA1 and ASA2 and there is an internet edge router behind ASA2 and say consider a route information for a subnet 3.3.3.x is needs to be installed on AC1. And now that subnet would also be traversing different routers and would be coming uh, to AC1. Say in that case, if it traverses more than 10 AS numbers, if it traverses more than 10 autonomous system numbers or it traverses more than 10 BGP neighborship because or what is an AS number so in this case I have a 2000 AS number so say consider uh, there is a neighborship between ASA1 and ASA2 it includes ASA number 2000 to 2001 so this is one hop so in that case if we are talking in terms of maximum AS limit it's nothing but 10 if it crosses more than 10 hops the route would not be installed. Now, where do I define the neighbor keywords? It, it is either under router BGP autonomous system number, it is under address family. So here you could see that we need to go under address family, then define the neighbor 
and what is my remote ace number so in this case it's an ebgp that's why my ace number are different if it is an ibgp my ace number would be same now in this case i also have this feature to either activate or shut down my neighbor so in this case i have activated my neighbor 2022 i could also shut down that neighbor if i do not want any bgp neighborship with that neighbor in this case i am advertising a network i am advertising a subnet mask 172.16.16/24 with the network keyword i'm defining the router id i'm also redistributing a connected route with a metric of 25 if you see on asa2 the same features have been enabled bgp log neighbor changes bgp best path i'm changing the default local preference and setting the router id I'm defining the neighbor, which in this case would be 2021. I'm defining the remote ACE number. And I'm also redistributing a connected route to itself with a metric of 25. Now, once my BGP neighborship is up, how do I verify it? So one of the command is show BGP summary. Here, it would tell you the router identifier for this ASA. It would determine the ACE number for this ASA. It would then give you what are my neighborship what is my neighborship IP address? So in this case, 2021 is the IP address of my neighbor. What is his AS number? It is 2000. Now remember, once my BGP neighborship is established, I would always see a integer value under the column I and Q. It means that it has been the neighborship has been up for one minute and 39 seconds. So you would always have an integer value on even if it is in an established state or even if it is in, in a open sense state. You would always see an integer value under I and Q. The only difference would be the state in this case, the moment it is established, you would never have an established keyword there. But if it is in an open sense state or open confirmed state, you would always see that state under the state column. Now this is nothing but the other command which determines the show me BGP neighbor information and detail. Here you could see that it shows the information, the IP address of my neighbor. It shows uh, the state. You could see that the BGP state is established. If it was open sent or active state, it would see, show you the state as active or open sent. You could see that the neighborship has been up for 1 minutes and 42 seconds. Here you could see the different messages which gets exchanged. So here you could see that counter, how many open message, open sent and open confirm messages have been sent and received. How many key palaves have been sent and received. How many notifications have been sent and received. What are the updates which have been sent and received. So if you need to know this information, the command is show bgp neighbor the show bgp summary would give you smaller output show bgp neighbor neighbor would give you a detailed output which would be beneficial in troubleshooting a bgp neighborship if it is not coming up this is a continuation of the show bgp neighbor output here you could see that whatever parameters we have configured and the address family ipv4 that would be visible here the session the session is nothing but the IP address of my neighbor, which is 2021. Here you could see the number of the same counters which we saw open send and open receive. They are beneficial. In this case, it also tells you that how many prefixes have been sent and received. But the, if your counters in, of the open send and uh, sent and received uh, matches, that that itself is beneficial for troubleshooting. As you can see on the right side, this are nothing but the continuation of show BGP neighbors. And this is a long output. That's why I have covered in two different slides. Here you could see the routing information which gets established once my BGP neighborship is up and running. Here you could see that the, if you focus on, on the keyword B, which is nothing but a BGP route for the subnet 172.16.16/24 with a metric of 20, which is the default administrative distance for a BGP route. Now, if you could see at the show route BGP, if you could see from the metric, which is 25, that is nothing but the route which we have redistributed for a connected subnet, which was 192.118.18/24. We defined a metric of 25, that's why we have seen that metric 
as 25 after my administrative distance of the VGP. If we just look at the redistribute command which we just uh, enabled here, you could see that under ASA1, we enabled redistribute connected metric 25. Okay, so as we saw in the last slide, uh, the way we redistributed the connected route with the metric of 25, I just wanted to show the command again, which we defined under router BGP. Because of that command, we are seeing this route with a metric of 25. So this concludes the BGP configuration for a eBGP scenario, where my autonomous system numbers are different and basically they are lying in two different locations. Now say consider how to configure an iBGP where my autonomous system number would be same, where my routers would be residing in the same location. So how do I configure that? The configuration on the configuration part, it is the same thing. Nothing needs to be changed. The only thing which needs to be changed is the autonomous system number. Now earlier for the remote AS, my autonomous system would be different. But for a IBGP, it would be the same autonomous system number. The rest of the fields are same the way we configured for a eBGP. As you could see that show BGP neighbor would sh show you what is my neighbor IP address. Now the important thing to look at it is if you could see that remote AS 2000 and you could see an internal link that basically tells us that this is an IBGP. If it was an eBGP, you would have seen as external link under show BGP neighbors. Now, this is the process which tells you about which BGP processes are running. So, the moment your BGP is enabled, these are the processes which you should see under show processes for a BGP which is running on your AC. So, this concludes the configuration of an eBGP and iBGP on ASA. The important part, as I have told you, that the moment we configure that eBGP or iBGP, how we would verify that? We would be verifying under show BGP neighbors. If it is an iBGP, it would give you as internal link. If it is an eBGP, it would tell you as an external link. The other features, the neighbor address, we define under address family, not under router BGP. Yes, we have to go under router BGP, then we have to go another level down under address family IPv4 unicast and then we have to define the neighbor address and its case number. So I hope this slide on BGP was informative and beneficial. Thank you.